his Oh, whoa, Jeez, that was great. <laughs> That was a little dramatic. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Electrics. Electrics. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Just a little How radio. are you doing? Um, I'm doing actually really good for the first time in a long time. Good. Why is that? Sleep can really do a lot to a person. It can really change a person. We decided that we wanted to show you guys another grocery haul because you guys like seeing what we get and what we We basically eat. get the same thing every time though. Like. Yeah, but I, I, I like the Oh, you these. went to Ralph's though, so I don't know what he got there. Yeah, we went to Costco. So we got a Costco uh, trip out of the way and I realized I, I, I did a, I had a really poor choice of apples because these are all banged up. I think they up. look pretty good. That one, that's all gross. That one's all gross. That's not gross, it's just, it got freckles. Oh well. Anyways, uh, so we got a Costco trip out of the way and then I went to Ralph's too and then we're actually going to be doing a little Q&A in this video and it's gonna be a very juicy Q and A, juicy, juicy, because they're gonna be questions that are juicy. What do we, you? We pulled our audience. We pulled our audience on Instagram, mm -hmm. and so uh, we. These questions are juicy. Yeah, they're juicy. So we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, Basically, so, I don't want my mom and dad watching this video. Basically. I wouldn't really care if my mom or dad watched this video, but. Yeah, your parents aren't Mormon. <clears throat> No offense to all the Mormons out there. No, oh, there's no offense. I just don't want my friends watching this one. So, we got some <laughs> apples right there. Uh, you got your, how many dozen eggs is that? Five dozen eggs. I'm like Gaston. And then um, this. Broccoli. Or, yeah, broccoli, but how many pounds is this again? Three? Three pounds. Yeah, so we got three pounds of broccoli. You said to me to text you were craving some green beans, so I made sure to get some green beans. Um, we literally, that probably takes us, what, two days, three days? I don't eat the broccoli. Oh yeah, you don't eat the broccoli. So. It takes me about two days to go through that. Um, mushrooms, we... We like mushrooms. mushrooms. We like mushrooms. Not the... Not shrooms. We like, we like mushrooms. Kind of we love our nuts, though. We do like so, nuts. So, these are actually pretty dangerous for me because I have to watch how many of these I eat. I've eaten probably, one night I think I had like six servings without even knowing. Six? Yeah. Um, we like to actually throw this, throw these in the That's air fryer. The most yeah, I don't need, they're nuts. Like it's really easy to eat nuts and the calories add up. So, um, yeah, I have to watch myself with these. So I'll probably be portioning, portioning these out. I'm actually gonna try. Uh, we actually toast these. You can actually do it in the microwave, but you can put them in the air fryer or the actual oven. I'm gonna try a little stevia cinnamon combo with these tonight. So that should be really, really good. Definitely try it out if you guys haven't. Made. That's actually like my main fat source. If anything, mm -hmm. uh, second fat source for me when I do have it is this flank steak. It's absolutely delicious. We're probably gonna be making dinner with this tonight. You're making me sweet um, potato fries and sweet potato fries, mm -hmm. which we actually already bought. So, um, and then Brussels sprouts. You you like Brussels sprouts, right? Not the not steamed. If you if, well, if, if I, I toast them. Yeah, if they're toasted. Yeah, them. but will you eat those if I make them tonight? Sure. Okay. Um, and then actually, this is this is my definitely. Eric goes through one of those a night. I wouldn't say one of these nine. I go about two. This is three pounds. I go oh. about two pounds of yogurt. Yeah. So these these both will probably last me. It goes about, through two thirds. This will last me about three days. Three or four days, yeah. So those are delicious. Now for our fun foods, which I'm excited to to bring out here. Um, first of all, I just want to say these were on sale because Ooh. Valentine's Day just happened. So I had to get uh, some. I was not ex expecting treats. Strawberry Twinkies. What? Nothing. Strawberry Twinkies. You gotta have some fun foods in here, okay? Okay. It's good for the thumbnail. And next, because we this both love our I Nutter Butters. I love Nutter Butters. Nutter Butter cereal. So I actually had this in a carb collection. It came out all, actually like a year and a half ago. Were they good? Am I gonna like them? You know what? Am I gonna like them? I'm going to say that. I'm gonna say that I am because if I wasn't, I'm gonna have bought them. I'm gonna say that you should know how I feel about them because they were in one of my videos and you said you watched all my videos before you met me, so you should know how they. Oh, Eric, do you know how much cereal you eat? Used to eat. Used to eat. Those are really good. Um, and then we got some rice cakes. These aren't really fun. Um, these Ooh. are really good. These Ooh, are apple caramel ones. Apple caramel? No, no I, they're just caramel, not apple. Oh yeah, caramel. Um, I actually bought the barbecue ones last night and they had like, I was surprised to find out that the entire bag had like 14 grams of fat in it. They're basically just like glorified potato chips. Basically. So these actually have one fat, um, so about four or But the calories are the same. The calories are the same, but it's still like- It's I, all about the macros, I guys. try to keep a lower 
fat to moderate fat diet in higher protein, higher carb. And I manipulate my carbs, so. She carb cycles. A lot of people ask me why I do that. I got a few comments in one of our videos that we just posted. I, I if you guys think about it, if you have a higher fat diet, your more of your calories are gonna be coming from fat. You'll typically, typically, unless you're on a ketogenic diet, you'll generally have higher calories in but general. But here's the thing, boo. You still eat a lot of fat if you go through six servings of almonds. Well, I'm not doing that every day. Teens of grease. Uh, next, we got some coffee. Yeah, it's, uh, that's that's actually coffee. a new one. It's a light roast. So we like to do light roast because they tend to have hi higher caffeine. You like your caffeine? No, dark roasts have higher nope. caffeine. Yeah, what? Absolutely. Yeah, because the more you the more you toast or you roast a bean, the less caffeine it has in it. You're draining the caffeine out of the beans. So Life light has light changed. light medium roasts have more caffeine. I did not know that. Hmm. And last but not least. I got some maple almond butter for my love because she loves almond butter. Yes, I do. Now, everybody, we've got all of our, our food out here. We are going to get dinner started and get the eating started. Alrighty guys, so we are actually doing this in another area of the apartment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sweet potato fries came out clutch. So good. And of course we had to do some some beef, some plank steak. Plank steak. Salad, of course. Um, you actually like this with Stevie on it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Who puts ketchup on their fries? Even your sweet potato fries? Mm -hmm. I think I got a little bit crispier. I already stole a couple pieces. I know, I know the shop. Oh. I need to have like a, like a prop to pull my plate of food on. Do they need to see the food while we eat it? Yes. It's very, very important. You got an idea. Very nice. Okay. It's like proper form in the gym. With food videos, it's proper form. Gym etiquette. Oh, that's oh, perfect. There you go. That works out perfect. The things we do for you guys. Let me see. How was, did the, did the steak come out good? Yeah, I've been trying to eat it. We're so savage, we just like, don't even cut it, we just. Very good, very good. Team well done, please comment down below because I feel like everybody hates on this well done well steak. Done. What is it? I would say, um, medium well. Mm. Savage. See? It's still really good though. I like it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> See, that's what you get for being sarcastic. I'm still getting over the stupid sickness. I never get sick. <coughs> so, we didn't want to do this too and I feel like. It's like the elephant in the room. We, we all know we're gonna do this Q and A. Mm -hmm. Get started. You want to do that now? Because I mean, actually, they don't want to see us eat boring food anyway. So, well, they want to hear questions. What do you think? There's gonna be the most asked thing. Sexual stuff and. I was gonna say that too. Kids, because that's what everybody wants to know. They want to know what's next for me and Eric, even though we've only technically been dating for, what, eight, nine months? I would say been together. I'm not a big fan of dating. Been together. Oops. So, we asked our Instagram followers to ask us any question they wanted to. So, we had to, so, we were hoping, like, they were going to be, like, juicy questions, and so, then we had to be, like, no guys, ask us juicy more, questions. More than just food challenge questions. I literally, I'll, I'll do a Q&A on my Instagram. It's all just like, what's your favorite challenge? What was your first challenge? What was your least favorite challenge? Do you puke after your food challenges? What's your, just like. Do you get sick of being asked the same questions over and over? 
because I get asked the same questions over and over. So basically, like we're purpose fitness. we're pers purposefully making this this Q and A very like I don't want to say scandalous, but it is. Mm -hmm. Like I don't really I don't have I, when it comes to like certain hot topics. Like I'm not really afraid to talk about certain things. I'm I'm a pretty open book. Let's test that open book with the first scandalous question. Lauren Losing asks, <laughs> how many times a week do you guys fu one of these emojis? You wanted juicy. I mean, I wanted juicy questions. <laughs> I think there's, there's, there's gonna be your answer and there's gonna be my answer. Because <laughs> my, my number might be higher or lower than yours. Well, I wasn't gonna give a number. I was just gonna say enough. Enough time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> I think I answered that really well. You did. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with Chrissy's answer. We're gonna go with enough times. Are we just doing my IG or doing yours? No, too? we can do mine too. That was a great opener. But in all re all seriousness, all seriousness though, probably like once. I got a really a good question. <laughs> okay. Are you sexually satisfied with the size of Eric's penis? <laughs> Woo! If I was not, I probably would not be here. <laughs> I mean, no, that sounds shallow, but if you are not sexually compatible with somebody, if you are not satisfied with somebody, you will most likely cheat and you won't be satisfied in the relationship. So, if I was not happy with that part of our lives, then... Because sex, sex is a big part. Sex is a huge part yeah. in any relationship, and if you aren't happy or uncomfortable or, you know, whatever, like, it's not gonna last. Totally. I agree. So. Um, other than, like, how many calories do you eat in a week, how many calories do you eat in a day? Um, Cassie asks, thoughts on having kids? So we've been getting, I, I'm pretty sure you've gotten got this question a lot. I've got a ton of those questions. Um, we want to have kids someday, um, but the, the reality of the situation is like we're not, with the point in our careers and our lives, we're not in the place to have children. So we both don't want kids. I right mean now. like we could if we really wanted to, but I would not, I would not do that on purpose. Yeah. That's for sure. I agree. Okay. Um. Are we still going with like the scandalous one? Oh yeah. Um, lights on or off when you make love? <laughs> okay, hold on. Are they talking like daylight lights or? No. Let's assume it's at nighttime. Okay. So on three, give your answer for your preference. Cause we- Oh, it's preference? Oh, okay. All right, ready? One, two, Three. Doesn't off. matter. Oh, really? I mean, I I, would, oh. I like it off, but it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right. No, I really hope my parents aren't watching this video. <laughs> I we we want to pick juicy questions, so it's like someone asked what your favorite thing about my personality was that made you fall in love with me. Like that's cute. Like I don't. That's cute. I mean, like we can do both, but let's do the juicy ones first. That's what people are here for. They want to get the juicy stuff. Oh, this is a cool. Oh, this is a good one. Um. Would you still like your girlfriend if she gained a ton of weight? Um, the answer, the answer is yes, but the answer, um, here's the thing, I'm not sexually attracted to overweight women, and so if, chances are like, like if I say hypothetically like six, uh, almost, wow, eight, eight months ago, mm -hmm. if you were walking down the street and you were like really overweight, it may sound shallow. It's not shallow though. I'm not sexually attracted it's, to overweight people. It's typically human nature to be that right. way because you mate to survive mm -hmm. and you're gonna mate with somebody who, just by natural standards, you're gonna mate with somebody who you know is going to survive. Right. It's, it's no different than me. I'm not attracted to super, super skinny guys. Because to me, that is not a provider. That is not some like a hunter and gatherer. Mm -hmm. Like it's type stuff. So right. Anyway, 
but on the, on the off side, if I were to gain a lot of weight, I know that you would still love me because when we first met, I was dealing with really bad thyroid issues and I was like 20 pounds heavier than I would have liked to have been and you still just thought I was really attractive, which is just super nice. But I know personally, like I would never allow myself to get to a place like that. Just, yeah. so, yeah. So no, that one is a good one. I like this one. I, this one's actually pretty funny. How often do y'all poop and do you try to hide it from each other? Um, I poop once a day. You poop once a day? Yeah. Do you try to hide it from me? Um, no, I think it's no secret. Like when I'm in the bathroom, you know I'm pooping. Because <laughs> I pee, it takes me two seconds. I'm like what else am I in the bathroom for? When you, when you say hide it, I mean like, I'm not gonna leave the door open. And I'm not going to yeah. um, be like super obvious about it, but oh, this is a good this is a good one. Uh, Chelsea Chelsea Levine says, "Do you think showcasing parts of your relationship on YouTube is healthy?" Um, and then second question is, "Are you afraid of filming together with overshadow the relationship and become more?" I don't understand what this. Let me see what it says. Are you afraid filming together will overshadow the relationship and become? Oh, more? they're saying, do you feel like YouTube is going to take priority over our relationship? Absolutely not. That doesn't ever even cross my mind. Um, I think showcasing parts of our relationship is completely healthy. Um, I don't I think, think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal either. Um, what people, what I've been noticing a lot, um, what I notice a lot more on this channel is that a lot of people seem to think that what they see on camera is it, like makes up our entire relationship. Like I've had to block more people because of just narrow-minded crap. So that's, yeah, um, don't make that mistake. More snacks. That's actually a pretty good one. Do you want to answer that one? Will you guys get married? I already feel like we are. I know, I already feel like we are too. But, like, marriage now is just literally, like... Marriage is... Something legal. Like, going through a divorce, to me, I have just learned that marriage is only a legally binding contract. That is it. And, um... A marriage certificate doesn't make a marriage. Totally. <laughs> Someone just goes, have you and Christy had sex? <laughs> have you and Christy ever had any pregnancy scares? No. But I will say I had a pregnancy, well I never actually like had like the test come up positive, but I've had to go out and buy the plan B pill before. Oh, well so have I, but I've never had like a positive pregnancy test ever. Do you guys do drugs? She looks at me. <laughs> we are in a legal state. Yeah guys, so um, personally for me, if I get asked this question, or like if I was asking somebody this question, the best thing I could do is be open-minded about it. Um, there's obviously certain drugs out there that are legitimately bad for you uh, in every way, shape or, shape or form. Um, but there are drugs out there that have been researched, that have been, um, you know, studied a lot. Um, and I think it's worth it to, like, really think about it, like, critically and be open-minded. Um, for me, I, uh, I think that weed is, like, the biggest thing now that people seem to think about and they, they think negatively about it. You, like, you either are for it or you're against it. I grew up being completely against it as a kid. And, um, I started smoking pot in high school. And I was really heavy in high school, and it really didn't do anything for me in high school. Really? Yeah, I smoked a bunch, and I never got high. I never got high. Um, and then I abstained from it for, I think it was almost like six, seven years, and then I tried again when I was 23. And I, I've dealt with chronic insomnia for such a long time, and I remember when I took, when I tried it, it literally just put me to sleep. That was like the only thing that could put me to sleep. And so I just started taking it at night in the form of an edible and I'd go to sleep. And um, I've used it casually, but I just don't think that like chronic overuse of it is a good thing. Like a lot mm -hmm. of people abuse it and they use it. Like it's Everything so in much. moderation. Right. And so, um, but yeah, I'm 
not a person that's like gonna like go oh my goodness how do you smoke weed like that's terrible but i'm also not a person that's gonna be like you know that's wake and bake yeah that's not yeah because that's definitely like I, I could never ever imagine waking up and smoking weed I couldn't imagine doing it. I can I can imagine coming home after a long day at work, smoking weed, and going to sleep. I look at it no differently as somebody coming home and having a beer yeah. or a glass of wine. Right. It's like a way to relax and help with your anxiety and everything like that. So. This is good, Christy. What has your divorce taught you, and how is your relationship with Eric different? This is from Adventurous Adventurous Spike. Do you know? I actually got a similar question, and her question was. Has your divorce impacted your views on marriage and your relationships? Um, no one asked me like, what did I learn from it and mm -hmm. how does it affect my yeah. newer relationship? Yeah. Um, As I get off the Twinkies, mm -hmm. it's a long winded question. You That's wanna skip very, that one? Yeah, okay. Um, what are your thoughts on pornography and do you watch it? <laughs> Um, I don't watch it, but I believe that masturbation can be healthy, but I also am very aware that pornography and masturbation can ruin a sexual relationship yeah. with your partner, and, um, I, because if it starts to ruin that, it means, it, it can mean that you have, like, um, porn addiction yeah. and like that type teens. of stuff, oh. which can come here, teens. And that can, I think, the biggest thing with porn pornography is that it makes men have unrealistic expectations of women. I was just gonna say that. And do you, um, do you also want to tell them that you've uh, you've never done porn before, just so people know? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I've been asked this a lot if I've ever just because of with my modeling pictures and stuff if I've ever been in the uh, porn business or adult entertainment business and no I have not I've never stripped I've never done porn No, nope, I have not so to go along with oh I have to answer myself Okay um, oh, with porn. Um, yeah, I, I remember watching a documentary in porn, and it was like one of the most like horrifying things I've seen ever. Um, the problem with like I view porn the the same way I view certain like actually the majority of YouTube videos. So it's always created to get you to believe a certain thing, mm -hmm. or get it gets you to um, basically like if you literally go on any porn site, it's literally a thumbnail of a girl getting you know Whatever. something's happening to her yeah. but it's all clickbait to get you to watch something porn isn't real no it's, it's not, not they're real. actors yeah so they're actors so i've been to amsterdam yeah, and i have the seen the the prostitutes i have seen the live sex shows yeah. like it's all in act it's no different than going to a theater production yeah. like it's anyway it's um, not real life yeah it's not real life um, and no, I don't. I don't watch porn. Um, before we get to the next one, which is gonna be a great question regarding sexual things and great. food challenges, uh, we should try these. Get into the Twinkies. Yeah. So these are strawberry Twinkies, and these came out on or near Valentine's Day, and they're only 125 calories per really? and four grams of fat. So why not? What better way to wait, like waste your fat macros for the day than on a Twinkie, what are right? The macros? 125 Eight. calories, four fat. Oh, so four fat, 20 carbs, and one gram of protein. <laughs> a package. whole one gram of protein? I know. It's just like, I forget how greasy these are. Uh, Yum. Mm. So now we're gonna judge this strawberry Twinkie and see if it's truly good or not. Let's do it. Mm, I taste like a Twinkie. So that's what we got right there, guys. That is a huge, 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 huge. Let down, I would never, ever waste calories on these. Now, I think you're gonna, you're gonna like these. Oh, great, I love cereal. These are, oh, I tried these in a challenge. I bought the family size box. I was so glad that I did. It literally, They look like dog treats. Yeah, they do look like little mini dog, dog treats. They are. 
It's amazing. Hold on, we're gonna try it together. You try it together. I already tried them. I know, but you're gonna try it with me. Cheers. Throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good, aren't they? <laughs> Dude, you can't have any. The last time they. You got fed something that was Last remotely time sweet. You got YouTube. fed miss beans. Everyone thought they were veterinarians all of a sudden when you couldn't realize that <laughs> was not nearly enough chocolate to actually like do anything harmful to a dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one is from Anna, who says, "Are you still able to have sex after doing an eating challenge?" So the the better question is, does does Christy want to stop? Because you smell like onions or pizza or whatever. Why would you say pizza, babe? <laughs> why would you use that? Hmm? Or the Philly cheesesteak where you smelled like you, onions for you, three days. Did anything happen that night? I'm just saying. I would, that night I was. I, that that's Philly what I'm saying. Steak. The better question. I ate is, a Philly cheesesteak in Texas and I was I was I was bloat he smelled city. Like, he smelled like onions for like three days. I was bloat city for like literally like three days. There was no way I was having sex. Um, the answer is yes, we have. After an eating challenge, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to disclose which eating challenge that was? It was the pizza one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Juanito so, is gonna be like, okay, oh, now snap. I know what they did that. Um, night. Yeah, there's cool. there's a certain capacity that I'm at where I'm like, I'm not I'm not operable at all to like do anything. Um, but that pizza was fine. It was like eight pounds, I think, and so we actually. Got went to the store. Went to the store, got food, had food again, and then, yeah. Um, uh, the next one's from, <laughs> actually, Luke Scott, who says, are you a liberal? I am, my views are more conservative, but I love the state of California. So it's kind of interesting being conservative in a liberal state. Well, I'm, I'm gonna answer that. <laughs> Cause I feel like <clears throat> when I lived in a conservative state, I was more liberal. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Um, well, that kind of goes, I'm gonna answer that with this question that I just got asked. Um, uh, thoughts on Trump. Uh, so, I feel like whether you answer this, you say you're for or against, like Donald Trump, for example, you're automatically placed into a box of being a Republican or being mm -hmm. a liberal or being some sort of thing. Um, so I choose not to, um, I will say that I didn't, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Um, I didn't vote at all because I didn't identify, I didn't really support either candidate that was running at the time. And, uh, I will say that I grew up Republican. I grew up in a very, very conservative family, but my thoughts and views have changed drastically ever since entering the real world since then. A lot of my really, really good friends are liberal, diehard Democrats. I have really, really good friends that are Republicans that are diehard conservatives. And that's just like, they're my friends. I, I view, I don't judge them based on their political beliefs. I, I judge them based on who they are as people. Mm, absolutely. And so like if I, as a, like, a, like a social media influencer, if I was to go on Instagram tomorrow and be like, I'm a, I'm a, I support Donald Trump. I would get thousands of people probably would unfollow me because Donald Trump has said some really stupid stuff. But guess what? There have been a lot of people in the presidency that have said really stupid stuff and done really stupid stuff. So it's like, you yeah. can't like, you, you know, should never base your judgment of somebody based on their political views, their religion, or anything like that. You you should judge them based off of okay. how they are humans. Right. I was born and raised Mormons or Mormon. I know a lot of Mormons who pretended to be Mormon to keep face. To me, that does not make you a good human. And that, like in general. And yeah. so if you are atheist and you're an incredible human, but if you are religion and you view them because they don't believe in God, they're a bad person, right. then... The moment that religion politics. and politics enter into the equation, it's like all hope is lost. Mm -hmm. It's so true. It's, so. If there was a disaster, if somebody needed help, would you be the person to be there to help? Because when it comes to situations where you need to act as a human, religion and politics are not going to matter. It's going to matter on the type of person you actually are. And I think that is a great point to end on because 
It's just a great point to end on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we hope you guys have enjoyed this Q&A. If you guys have any more questions for us, we want, this is actually pretty cool. I oh, really like fun. this Q&A. If you guys want to see another one, be sure to let us know down below in the comments. Drop a question. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in the next one. The Electrics are out.